I'd like to play a game. I'd like to know who here you trust the least at the table. Myself. <laughs> That's on. That's a great. That's a cop out. That's a cop out. You have to pick someone. I plead the fifth, not going and starting a war. Who do you trust the most then? Because then that's more positive. I'm not going there, period. I'm, I'm tired. It's still divisive. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I don't trust any fucking bitches. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Marisol, go ahead. Yeah, who do you trust the don't most? Don't start here? though. Let's see. What do you mean don't start? You already had it. No, I'm just curious. Up. But start it off. Let's get it popping. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think I trust Nicole the least. Everyone's interested. Hey, um, no, she's interested. Yeah, no, she interested. wants to participate. Well, I think you should prove your point, right? Well, because I know that you've talked a lot about Lisa. And a lot about Larsa. I've talked shit about Lisa and Larsa. Name yeah. the occasion. And, and. Name and, the occasion. No, and, if you're going to stand on your plate and say that I've yeah. talked yeah. Say it. You, what was the, you what? Have, well, give an example. You and your husband didn't make fun of Lisa's house and then before you her. I know a lot of people that you know, and you and your husband talk about Lisa and Lenny. I'm a good friend, and I was told by friends, and she's not my friend. Nicole is quite sneaky. And now everybody just needs to know who we're sharing this home, our roof, and our food with. A lot. Like an example. A lot. What is a lot? Because if you're lot. gonna stand here, you're gonna uh, see well, that there's maybe an example. like uh, you give names. No. She's tacky. I don't like the way she dresses. I don't like her house. The only thing I said was that her floor was slippery and that we almost ate. Oh, it's a lot more than that. You know what you said. You also talked about Larsa. I told Larsa to her face that when I first heard the OnlyFans thing. I thought, why would this girl do this? And then I did my due diligence, like Alexia suggested, and I looked it up. I know a lot of people that know you, and I know what they said, and you called her a hooker. When she posted that she was starting an OnlyFans page, her stance was like, you know what? I'm gonna own my body, and I'm gonna put it out there, mm -hmm. and this is who I am. And I actually think more women need to own who they are. So I, not what you I didn't, that's the whole point. Because now you're just talking shit out of your ass. I don't even know like where to begin explaining anything to Larson because I didn't say that. OnlyFans is X-rated. No, 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 no. You know, I was the first one to be like, it's that super it's slutty it's and cheesy. Yeah. But I think you will be pleasantly surprised well, at the both sides. extensiveness no. of the platform. Who's saying oh, that? Honey, if anybody that? knows anything about me, I don't talk <laughs> at all. This is bull The things that I was told that Nicole said was Larsa was a hooker and she didn't want to be associated with her. I'm gonna let them have it out, and then at the end, I'm gonna give you my opinion, and I'm gonna tell you how I feel about it. You're all buddy-buddy with everybody, but I don't trust it. That's just what I'm saying. And it doesn't look good, it's not nice. Marisol can be the nicest girl, but if you mess with her, she'll take you down. So, Nicole, better be careful. If I have to say, one negative thing about Lisa, I would say that stylistically, we're very different. But no, that is no. negative. You can be blind and know Lisa's got the best taste in her house. It's not one is better or one is worse. I'm They're just different. Saying, I'm just like, you could say I get I it, but I'm saying for me like to say that is like crazy. It's like crazy. It's can I tell you something? Be Before there. I met you, I have a lot of friends from Miami that know you. And literally, they told me you were married to a guy that was literally a school teacher, I think, right? Yeah, back in the day, yeah. Yeah. And he was broke. And as soon as you met this guy that you're with now, Anthony, you were gone for the win just because he was successful and he was rich. I never judge you based on that. Never. Lenny and I were separated for two years Len before. Oh, his name was Lenny? His name was Lenny. Two years <laughs> before I even met Anthony. 